Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guy Wayne, and today I want to show you how to reset your Samsung Galaxy S24 back to factory settings. The first thing you'll need to do, swipe now from the top of the screen. In the upper right corner, you're going to tap on the settings wheel. From here, you want to go up to accounts and backup. And the first thing you have to do is you always have to remove your Google account. So tap manage accounts. Tap on your Google account and hit remove. Now, if you have multiple Google accounts, you got to remove them all. And the reason for this is if you don't, you're going to screw the phone up for the next person who uses it because Google is going to ask for the password for that Google account before anyone else can sign in and use the phone. So you got to remove that. That's so important. Now, all the way at the bottom of the screen here, there is the reset button. You're going to tap on reset. And from here, Swipe up, and you're going to hit Factory Data Reset. Swipe up, hit Reset again. It will ask you to put in whatever your PIN code was. I just did an easy one just to get it going. And hit Delete All. Give it a couple of seconds, and now the phone is going to go right into its Factory Data Reset mode. And this can take usually about two to five minutes, depending on how much data you have on the phone. It's going to completely wipe the phone. It'll restart a couple of times and you'll know the reset was complete because the last thing you will see is a screen that will say choose a language. So, hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, bump that like button down below. And if you're in the market for a really cool pair of headphones, I just picked up these J-Labs um, earbuds right here. And these are really cool, really unique design. It doesn't have a closed case. It's open. But on the bottom here, you actually have the charging cable so you don't need to have any extra cables with you, simply plug it up to your computer, give it a quick charge, and you're good to go. So if you're in the market for some inexpensive headphones, these are under $30, and surprisingly have some really good bass, so I'll drop a link in the description. At the very top, you'll see a link that says awesome Bluetooth headphones for under 30 bucks. These are those, so make sure you check them out. And uh, thanks again for watching, take care, and as always, have a good one.